Good morning. So for this flight, I wanted to do kind of an international one. And I wanted to do it in the plane that I'm actually fairly comfortable with. So we're back in the A320 again. And this time we're going to do a flight from Chicago O'Hare. And we're going to fly up and over the top of the world, or pretty high up. Come in over um, Ireland and then down into Heathrow, right in front of London. So this should be pretty dang fun. It's going to be a long flight. I'm probably going to skip over some of the uh, dead of the Atlantic because there's nothing to see or do. Um, everything else I will fly and handle all normally. I've picked one of these routes. I don't remember exactly which one to get me there, but um, it was pretty good. After the last video, I kind of came into the airplane cockpit, just took a look at some of the controls. So now I know where all the lighting are. Um, I can handle the instrument lighting much better. I can handle the plane lighting. Um, and you'll see I use this a little bit during the flight because normally in clouds and such, the planes will keep themselves a bit more illuminated to help them be visible as they fly through the clouds, um, which is fun and nice. So I wanted to do kind of more of a realistic flight here because most planes will depart in the evening uh, or late evening so that people can sleep overnight and then wake up in their destination. So I kind of did that. Um, I also wanted to set it up in the rain so it was kind of fun to see the rain and actually uh, turn on the window wiper for the airplane. That was kind of uh, unique and interesting and fun so I enjoyed doing that. It didn't seem to do much to the rain on the window which was a bit annoying but hey whatever. Um, the flight itself went fairly smoothly. I ran into a couple of issues. One, again, the ceiling was too high, so the plane was struggling to gain altitude. Um, surprisingly, I didn't have any icing issues, so I didn't have to use the engine de-icers or anything like that. What got me a little bit on the descent was the ATC system as I was coming out of Ireland into um, England proper started bringing me down, which was fine, and it gave me a nice smooth descent for the first section. And then it kind of asked me to drop a lot of altitude. I think it was something like, uh, I was at 36,000 crews and it wanted me to drop down to like 19,000 from, tw or I went from 36 to 29 or something and then 29 down to 19. So I was dropping like 20,000 feet. And very shortly after I began this descent, again, the auto throttles did not pull back enough thrust to bring the plane down steep enough to actually lose a significant amount of altitude, which was very disconcerting. And then ATC came on and said, hey, please expedite your descent. So I said, okay, well, instead of doing full manual everything, then I'm just gonna play the system. So I turned off auto throttle, pulled my engines to idle, and I still wasn't quite coming down fast enough. So I decided that I would put my slats up or spoilers to their very first extension and this allowed my plane to drop at about 3,000 feet per minute which was really fast it's not normal that you would come down that hard but because ATC was forcing the issue it made it very difficult for me to come down fast enough to actually make it there the other problem was the game here on departure put me on the shortest runway for no reason I'm not sure why and I was fully loaded with fuel because the range of this 320 is not transcontinental like this um, from where I'm flying. So I was barely on the edge of fuel distance to make it. And uh, so I was fully loaded, which meant I needed a long takeoff roll. And then they put me on the slow one. I managed to get off, but I probably took out several uh, light posts and may have clipped some trees, but I did make it. Anyway, I had to use the slats to bring the plane down. And that was really disconcerting because of uh, just how fast they wanted me to come down. Once I got down to 19, they brought me down to 12, and then they had me go down to 7. And then from 7, I was still a pretty decent distance away from London. I wasn't even over the city yet, and they dropped me down to 3,000. And then shortly after I get to 3,000 and I'm cruising, ATC comes back and tells me I need to climb back up to 7,000. So I'm going, well, what the heck? Why do I need to go back up to 7,000 here? Okay, I decided just to ignore them at that point because very shortly after they told me to climb back to 7,000, they said climb to 6,500, then 3,500, and so on and so forth. So they were starting to bring me down very quickly. So I just stayed where I was at that point. Um, 
there were no obstacles. There was nothing there that really should have caused that type of a situation or glitch to bring me down, but oh well. The bank into the airport was a ton of fun. It was absolutely gorgeous on this approach with the sunrise coming in and the cloud layers that I had kept in place. It was really a beautiful approach. This was one of my favorites that I've done so far and it just really shows off what the game can do. And once we banked into the airport, we were lined up very well with the approach system. It brought me in beautifully. I turned it off. I held on to it a little longer. There was an issue with a run, uh, an, an AI airplane that for some reason was not clearing the runway and wasn't communicating with the tower. So they told me to go around just before I hit the deck. So dangerous and it was AI. So I decided I'll just stick the landing and roll through. And a couple minor corrections on landing, but overall I did much better. I need to be a little faster at raising the slats because I wasn't looking up long enough, but uh, that'll be better in VR. But this was a great landing again. I think I came down a little bit too hard. I should have floated a bit more, but this was a ton of fun and another really great flight. Performance-wise, since I just came out of doing the um, performance video, um, I had a lot of lag in Chicago, and I know I had rain on and clouds on, and there were some planes there, but I was seeing some fairly hefty stutters and just complete lag outs, so I was averaging on the ground about 15 to 20 FPS, which was pretty abysmal in my opinion, considering this is the performance update. Once I got airborne, I started climbing through 25 and then 30, and even when I was still flying through some of the clouds over the city before I hit Lake Michigan, I was still pushing uh, 35, 40 FPS. And here coming into Heathrow, I only had a few minor dips, and this was a fairly crowded area. There was a lot of planes, a lot of traffic, a lot of these volumetric clouds. There was a lot of stuff going on, and overall, my FPS stayed in the 35 uh, FPS range. I had a few minor stutters and dips into the 20s, but again, not at that big of a deal. Overall, I stayed pretty high up, so overall very pleased with that and the landing. I, again, I don't know what happened once I got down because they told me to go around. I guess they treated me like a terrorist or something because they stuck me off in this random opposite side of the airport parking, I guess, so they could have the SWAT team storm the plane and clear it, but it was nuts. Um, anyway... This was a great flight. I'm going to do one more before I jump into VR, and the next flight, as a bit of a spoiler, will be the first time I pull out the Queen of the Skies, which is the 747, to do a return flight from Heathrow to Dallas-Fort Worth. I have never sat in the 747 in this game. I've done it in FSX and all the prior ones, but this will be the first time I load the 747 for the return journey to Dallas. So I think this should be an interesting flight, to say the least, and uh, it'll be a lot of fun to see kind of how things look from that super high altitude as we fly over the two countries. So enjoy the rest of this approach and the flight. Thank you guys for watching, and we will see you next time.